Hey what's up guys so in this video we're gonna try to fix the dual boot menu problem in windows so here in my computer I have been previously using this windows 7 and then recently I have installed windows 10 now the problem is that whenever I start my computer it automatically boots into this windows 10 and the dual boot menu was missing so let's just try to fix how we can fix this dual boot menu problem so if we go to system configuration so under the boot option it is showing only one operating system which is the windows 10 and that is also the default one so here the windows 7 is not showing so let's see how we can fix that so to fix that we have to download this program called easybcd so we have to go to the official site and from here we have to scroll down and here you can see we have this free non-commercial version so we have to click on the register button and now we have to click on the download and the download will start so here is the easybcd program so let's just go and install that and here you have to agree to the terms and conditions and then click on finish so our installation is done so let's just now open that easybcd program so here inside the easybcd program it says that there is only one entry in the windows bootloader and the default one is windows 10 so we have to add another entry so we have to click on this add new entry button and then here we have to select the drive where our windows 7 is installed so you can see our windows 7 is installed in the drive f so we have to select f from the menu so here we can assign one name to the windows in the boot menu so we're gonna simply call this windows 7 and after that we have to click on this add button and here it says windows 7 added to the bootloader successfully and after that we have to go to this edit boot menu so we can arrange this boot menu we can move them up move them down we can rename them we can delete them and also we can set the countdown of our boot menu so for now everything looks good so we're gonna save the setting so bootloader setting saved successfully so everything is done from the easybcd so now we have to restart our computer and everything will be working fine so let's now restart our computer so here is our missing boot menu and everything is working fine so hope this video is helpful to you we'll see you in the next one take care